This video is an addendum to the one done earlier on the case studies. I'm embarrassed to say that I made an error in the earlier video and it takes too much time to redo them so I'm going to correct it with this little addendum. We were talking about asking questions, how it was important for risk managers to ask risk assessors questions and I suggested that in the core project there were no questions and I was mistaken and I should know better because I worked on this risk assessment. But here is the Glimmis report in Appendix C, the risk assessment. If we go to page 27, you see down here risk hypothesis and questions. And if we go one page down, you'll see there were indeed four specific questions that were to be addressed by the risk assessment. Which aquatic nuisance species are the most likely to use the Chicago area water system? to successfully transfer between the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes Basins. How suitable are each of the individual cause pathways for allowing an aquatic nuisance species to transfer from one basin to the other? Following interbasin transfer, which aquatic nuisance species are most likely to become established and ultimately spread within the receiving basin? And finally, what may be the economic, environmental, and social consequences should an aquatic nuisance species become established in a receiving basin? These do represent information needs that are outside the norm for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers.